Have you ever seen a shooting star or a meteor? Have you seen several meteors streak across the sky during a nighttime event? Well, you've got a great opportunity out there this coming weekend, really specifically Saturday night and into early Sunday morning as the peak of the Percy meteor shower will be taking place. First of all, a meteor, it's basically just a piece of space dust or space rock left behind from a comet or asteroid that made its way across the Earth's orbit. And as the Earth enters that trail of space dust and debris, that will burn in the atmosphere, creating streaks of light that only lasts for a few seconds. And you always hear about meteor showers online or maybe even on the news, but most of them are not worth staying up for. However, when we take a look at the chart, the Perseids and the Geminids, those are the two best ones to get excited for. And this year is especially interesting because we will not have a moon to interfere and wash out any of the fainter meteors. So when you take a look at the meteor shower, there are some rules that you got to apply. First of all, you need to get away from any light source. If you're around some light source, even a street light, that's going to prevent you from viewing faint meteors. You might see a bright one streak across the sky, but the less light you have, the more meteors you're likely to see. Look up, clear view of the sky, get away from any trees or hills. And for this meteor shower, you want to look off to the north northeast. You got to be patient. It's going to take about 15 to 30 minutes for your eyes to adjust and relax. Lay on a blanket or sit on a chair. You don't want to be looking up at the sky for five, 10 minutes because you'll get a, a pain in your neck for the most part. And with it being August, the bugs are going to be out, including the mosquitoes. So make sure you layer up and maybe even put on some bug spray if you're going to be out for a long period of time. But let's talk about the Perseids. I already told you it's going to be very spectacular this year because the crescent moon doesn't rise until well after 330. So we're looking at total darkness and hopefully skies will stay clear. Now here in Arkansas, there's going to be, I think, some clouds, especially in the north northeast Arkansas. This video was made on Tuesday evening, so things can certainly change with the forecast. But when we take a look at why we call them the Perseids, it's all because of where they come from, the direction that they appear to come from or radiate. And it's from the constellation of Perseus. So you'll see this constellation in the sky. It's going to be a little bit higher the farther uh, in time that you wait to go outside. If you're going to be out about midnight or, or one o'clock in the morning, it's going to be way up in the sky. And, that, and that's going to be the best opportunity. The later that you go out, the better chance you'll see more meteors. You can go out as early as 9, 10 o'clock, but I don't think you're going to see as many verses when you go out 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, set that alarm. That'd be a good idea. How many meteors can you see dependent upon your location? Well, like I said, light pollution, that's the number one thing you don't want to have if you're witnessing a meteor shower. Here in the city, we'll go for 1 to maybe as much as 10 if you're lucky. The suburbs, you'll see about 10 to 25 meteors per hour. And then you get out well past the Little Rock Metro, uh, northern parts of Faulkner County, Van Buren County on the hilltops, and over into eastern parts of Arkansas, but not too close to Memphis, you can probably see 20 to as many as 60 meteors per hour. And they're going to be different. Some will have some really bright, long tails to them. Others, you blink, and your eyes might be playing tricks on you. You might think you saw one, but you really didn't. The best place, though, is going to be Newton and Searcy counties because in the Ozarks, there's hardly any light pollution. It's some of the darkest areas in the country in the part of the Buffalo River. And in that part of the state, I think you could see 50 to as many as over 100 meteors if you're lucky. So once again, hopefully we have clear skies. That's not a guarantee, but just stay with the forecast. and We'll certainly keep you updated over the next several days. Get the kids excited because it's going to be happening Saturday night, early Sunday morning. So make it a fun activity. Set that alarm and check out this spectacular event. I'm meteorologist Nathan Scott.